Hello. I have some bad news, some good news, and some very uh, good news. So the world corrupted, but I managed to get it back. Although I had to delete any uh, of the unsaved chunks, and I think it's just a problem with the world generation in general. Uh, and I I'm making backups now every time I play. So. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so there are just a few odd areas. Uh, odd balls, but they're odd cubes, actually. Uh, and then, uh, there's good news, which is I did some fossil hunting. And, uh, oh, wait, no, I'm thinking. Look at all these fossils, eh? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to just go exploring because the world could be reset or anything. But there are uh basically anywhere that I uh, any chunk that I haven't really been in, like if I've just moved over any chunk of that nature, they have been you know, reset. Oh, oh, creeper. Oh, man. Oh, no, there's... Oh, wait. Oh, what's the... Oh, witch! Don't kill me, witch! Yes! Got out of a tight spot. And, hello, Mr. Paleo! Ontologist? I think you get the juice. Hmm. I'm going to suck up all the tar. Oh, oh, pass on! sleep enough of uh... oh the gap in the mountains how peculiar I wonder if it is my doing things. I'm kind of annoyed the world looks like this but Rather, it looks like this, then, you know, be gone. The tar seems to have a defense system to stop me from harvesting it all. Or could it be that the tar just spawned slimes? Almost there? Right, bro, I did you a favour there, you know? Got rid of your tar. Hmm, the skull blocks are pretty cool, so I won't read them off. Don't think that tar was supposed to be there. Ooh, yeah. The mountains probably got the worst affected. In fact, that could have been the place where the infection started. Could have been trying to, yeah, I think I might have been trying to generate something of them. The world just couldn't handle it. And. But one interesting perk is that it actually saves me on, you know, some, uh, well, costs. Since parts of the world are already excavated, I can just use them. Alright, I've got more fossils to analyse. I, I keep on having to remind myself 
not to throw up the what? That would make a good enclosure for something in there. Yeah, this is probably where the corruption was. Well, uh... Ah! Oh, a village! Could, could that be how the corruption began? In, in, like, a village? Who knows? I'm going to investigate it. Because there might be an archaeologist in that village. Oh, I can see the Nautilus, because anything that isn't black and, you know, has nine tentacles, uh, well, it's actually like a navy blue, but it appears black on here, because, you know, render. There should be more aquatic violence. I like how, instead of going into the dinosaurs now spawn naturally in your world, cope with it, but they do do the... You have to dig them up and then use it in. Wait, is that a new... Oh, uh, a paleontologist seems to have spawned... Oh, bro. Oh yeah, I forgot paleontologists don't really have anything. And, oh, this is... Oh, he's an archaeologist and archaeologist. Well, for a lot less cool than I thought. Oh, I knew this was uh, a new structure because I know a lot about the old villages. Just want to just look and go to see what we what he has. But oh, a skull block. That's really cool. I don't think he's mining these. And, Okay, that's all I really stole from him, so I think it's fine. Oh, that's awesome of his mother there. Weaponsmith? Obsidian? Uh, I don't think I need it for a minute. I think I'm an entirely new character. Yeah. I also have never been hit before. Don't want to go so far out that I just can't get back. Because that would be a bit of a bummer. But so many paleontologists in the area. Good knowing there's a village nearby, so I can go down Honestly, why haven't these guys dug anything up yet? Hmm. Oh, an island. Eh. I like dinosaur parts on an island, but I want it to be close to spawn. And Poetendos wasn't on an island. And mine is basically Poetendos. It's supposed to be, uh, this series is basically a beautiful tent, though. There! I think, because if you want to this will lead me out, I'm going to start farming. He says running towards the herd of wild animals. And normally I haven't found any uh I have a village. You know, 
I do say I don't like the Java uh, combat. I'm getting semi used to it. Uh, not as bad as I first said, but I I prefer Bedrock. But it's actually a bit more fun with Bedrock. It's more spamming. With this, it's more you know critical hits and stuff. Right. This episode, I'm going to at least try to start uh, a base. Wait, is that a... Oh! Thorzine! Uh, so apparently, if you analyse these, you get like a 100% chance to get whatever dinosaur. I'm not sure how much of this is from the original F and A mods, and I'm uh, and what's uh, from the revival. Man, my heart misses a beat every time I glitch because I'm like, oh, has the corruption come back? But nah. And it isn't the fun and kind of tedious corruption like in Terraria as far. It'd be cool if Mojang put more energy into stopping corruption. Like, I know it isn't as easy as just disabling corruption, or what I've seen people online suggest they do, but still, for the biggest video game of all time, well, not of all time, but for one of the biggest video games of all time, in fact, maybe the second, and let's be real, the biggest video game right now, I'm sure it could do a bit better than this. Now I think I'll have, while I'm off building and everything, all this analyzing in the analyzing, and I'll have, uh, well, building. Oh, I've got one stake left and a time to, yeah, I need to get back home. Or at least get back to the tent and, oh! At Quagga Vertebrae. Oh! Yeah, yeah, this is the root of the corruption. Now, I remember very well a lot of basic trivia about Potendo, and in a bit of a depressing note, I do really miss the days that we sit down and watch his episodes. I remember being gutted when I realised that I could never get a fossils and archaeology mod. Well, never say never, because I'm technically on it now, even though it's still revival. But it all began when there was this other series I watched called Zono Zoo. And at the time, I, I played console. So basically, the guy was giving a shout out to his fans and we were talking basically about some fans uh, who had meticulously, uh, I feel that's what I was like, very finely recreated his entire zoo, but at the end he said that they had actually had to make builds of all the animals since they couldn't use them, since they were on console, and I was like, wait, console? I'm on console, of course I'm not anymore, but then I uh, was like, wait, does that mean I can't get that mode or the fossils and archaeology mode? Because you ought to hear a sad thing. I had even began making preparations on my uh, console mode for what I would do when uh, I downloaded the, ah, the, the fossils and archaeology mode. Like, that is actually pretty sad, like, I had already started building enclosures, like, they were horrendously small because I was a bad builder. Like, probably about half the size of this lava pit if it was, you know, a rectangle. And for Potendo uh, watching, I had even uh, made spaces in my- ah! Oh, my Oh, dude. 
I had like my main base was a treehouse. I'm making this all sound a lot grander than it was. It it was literally just a small rectangular box nested at the top of uh, one of those big oak trees. Not dark oak, one of those like uh one one of those uh it was like nestled in one of those and also i was always really scared of like one block um holes like this uh because it's kind of like the same being scared of the crack open in your wardrobe because your bow is in one of the house well so oh it was all Ways creative, always, never ever survival. I was terrified of survival. Uh, uh, but I was actually scared that Hera Brian would like rise out of a hole and like kill me. Well, not kill me, I, I actually wasn't, I never knew what he would do if he like came onto my world. I once even was like at a friend's house and I'm talking about like. Terrified of Minecraft, and like I wasn't making it up for the sake of it to like sound cool. I was making it up uh, because that's just how I thought. Uh, so here's what I told them about uh, what Hero Brian was like. Oh, I won't. Uh, so first of all. I said that he builds pyramids in the water around your Minecraft world, and that's why the friend actually started believing me, because I didn't know this at the time, there actually were two structures in the game, both desert temples and, uh, what do you call it, the ocean monument. Uh, and I also said that if you were ever to fly up all the way to the height limit you would see him yeah enjoy that cut wait wait it analyzed into just bone meal Now, what dinosaur should I create? Uh, but anyway, in that world, I had like this tree, ha I had multiple like laboratories, like I say they were laboratories, but uh, they were not. Like they were white, quartz, clean, futuristic spaces where I, uh, am I, where I basically, hmm, don't know how to put this, like I had other plans and I didn't imagine but like I tricked myself into believing that I was actually doing like Minecraft scientific work there and I was working towards the, well of course there's an archaeology mod. But eventually, my dreams were shattered when I realised I could not, in fact, get that mod. I don't know why I never made an attempt earlier to get it. Like, I don't know why I did, like, go on Google. Did, did I use Google back then? Did, did Google exist back then? Uh, I don't know why I didn't go on Google and say fossils and archaeology mod install console but alas i didn't and i just thought oh eventually i'll be able to get it and create a dinosaur park and i never did well until now and then eventually i got pocket edition so once more i started doing it but it was like SCP specifically on a more grandiose scale Uh, so basically, like I imagined e each world had a variation of Steve, and there was like Scientist Steve, and there was like some sort of multiverse, I'll call it like Empire. Uh, this was also the 
time I was beginning to develop the true CY. Uh, I I've had focused on getting add-ons from the newly created, might I say, uh, Minecraft Marketplace. And it was good for a while. Uh, I even once took pride in the fact that my dinosaur modded park, which I had installed from uh, the Marketplace, was... Uh, it, it was bigger than Poetendo's, which actually, given by the fact Poetendo used railway systems and had multiple uh, stretches, I honestly don't think it was. Uh, yeah, but oh, I'm gonna make this jump. Oh, this was a stupid plan, oh, yeah, I did it. But eventually, once more, I grew tired of that, and in fact, in a kind of sad, twisted way, I remember actually having uh, fantasies of eventually playing with Poetendo himself. In fact, I remember having these, uh, no more uh, flights of fancy than the first CY installments, uh, like, thinking about meeting Poetendo uh, and like joining his world and stuff like that uh, obviously that never sadly he has that his kind of somewhat disappeared from the internet the past six eight months I'm not sure if I uh, believe that's possible. Maybe I'll come back. I think he just did before. I was so scared when I uh, saw his video saying, All the dinosaurs have disappeared. I was like, What? Did like, your computer glitch and just delete all traces of the mod from your world? And this is your final episode. But when I realised it was just like a uh, mocking Paris uh, scenario, then, uh, yeah, that was a bit better. I'm just going on, uh, not really a vent, because it's n not about anything negative. In fact, the opposite, it it's a happy memory. Uh, but, oh. Uh, but basically, yeah, imagine my disappointment when I realised I couldn't. And it happened for a third time. Yes, you heard me right. It happened for a third time when I got Minecraft for the PC. And I was like, this is finally it. Minecraft PC equals Minecraft Java equals Minecraft fossils and archaeology equals Minecraft playing with Poetendo himself. But no, 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 no. Because uh, it was bedrock. Eventually, they launched the Minecraft Bedrock and Java service, and I was like, eh, nah. I, I don't want to get upset all over again over mods. Until now, where I realised, yeah, no, what? I'll do it. And it's actually all because of the creaking. I went onto the launcher so I could play with the creaking. But you'll never guess what happened. I saw I could in I could install Java as well, and I thought, could this be it? Could this this be the fossils and archaeology mod? So I did it. I downloaded it, and here I am. I'm still disappointed. There's one more chapter 
in this show. I'm not sure how Nintendo uh, still manages to play on it, but the sort of an archaeology mod I watch Power Nintendo play it might have even been the one to sort of pierce, but I'm not here to wild respect it. Uh, you can't install it anymore, and instead I'm playing the revival edition, which is like. Uh, it is like, say, all I want, I wanted to eat vanilla ice cream, which by the way is the best flavour. Uh, and vanilla's gone extinct by the time I'm finally able to, so I have to eat vanilla flavoured ice cream. Like, it's still the taste I've been waiting for, just something about it feels a bit off. But once again, who am I to wildly speculate? Right, time to get things done. Oh no, more dino DNA. Too much yapping. Not enough happening. Alright, so I'm thinking I'll probably build it round about the centre, that makes sense. I know it's kind of the second most glitchy terrain in the server, and that's kind of off-putting, because of the feats I'll have to do, but still, if I'm going to do it, I'll do it right. I've just realised something pretty sad. I'm not sure how satisfied I'll wait it's, it's running. I'm not sure I can turn off fire spread in Java edition, because I always play the fire disabled. I've just realised I'll never be truly satisfied with it unless i am playing with the same textures potendo used on the same world he played not just the seed but i am playing on his park unless i literally become potendo this won't be satisfying enough like genuinely, this this is not. Let's see. Ah, Poetendo, my guy, my friend. So let's see how he builds. Last time he uploaded was seven months ago. Wait, but his shop is still open, so... I might buy something from his shop. If he has any plush, I might buy it. So let's see how he builds. I remember the museum, I remember the aviary, I remember the enclosures, I don't remember. I have to say, I wasn't the, the biggest fan uh, of when uh, he invited a bunch of people to the server 
to basically build for him. Uh, like it is his choice, and I'm not saying he's being lazy. I'm just kind of saying that a, although he doesn't even know who I am, but I'm also far thousands of people who would have wanted to be one of the builders, and b, he's just has a wonderful building style. But it doesn't mean that his builds have been deleted, it just means that it's someone else. Building. Right, here seems like a lovely place to go for first installment. Ah, Mr. Mocking Cow, what a friend you've been. I'm going to use everything that he used in his honour. Of course, I'm not saying he's dead, I'm just saying he has a lot of honour.